hi guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while it's been a while while it's been like four weeks i just got no i didn't just get back but i got back from the session one of san francisco ballet summer intensive and there's a lot of things i'm gonna talk about um today i'm gonna talk about the dorms maybe next week i'll go talk about the classes and the teachers and everything but i'm gonna talk today about the dorms so yeah So I arrived at like one, I think, yeah, one o'clock. And then I was the first one there. So I got to pick my room, which was really nice. So for me, I was gonna be, it's like a suite. So you can either be with two other people or three other people. For me, I was with two other people, both older than me, like by two years. So I don't know why they put me with them, but Hey, it is what it is. They put me with them. At least I was there first. I got to pick my room. My view wasn't the nicest. It was just a view of a wall. Whatever. Who cares? Their names was Dylan. He's from Salt Lake City, Utah. He goes to Ballet West. And Chun, my other roommate, was from Japan. I don't know what studio he goes to. But he did the year-round program. Overall, like, thoughts of the dorms. It was nice. The room, my room was really nice. It was pretty big. And I was by myself, so I did not have to sleep with another person, which I was happy about that. I like sleeping in my own room. I just like it. But the kitchen was really crammed. The kitchen from, and it was only for me apparently, because I saw other people's dorms. It wasn't that crammed. For me, for our, us, I should say, it was just really hard to just be in. But that's really the only complaint I have. The other part of the dorm was nice. It was just kind of crammed. So, another thing I also want to talk about is the food situations, the curfew, and the staff. I need to get to that as well. And I also need to talk about doing your laundry. So, I'm going to start with my food. So, the food there is really good. They give you breakfast and dinner. You have to make your own lunch, or you can go out on your breaks to buy lunch, which... Sometimes, the longest race that they gave me in San Francisco was like two hours, which is plenty of time. You go buy, you can buy yourself lunch. And there's also some stores nearby that, they, and they also do like, they'll walk you sometimes to the stores in groups, and you can buy your supplies. My mom just ordered me some from Amazon and Whole Foods. So, yeah, they give you breakfast and dinner. The food's really good. Oh, the food is really good. Yeah, it's really good. So, on the first night we get there, there's an orientation. They, the staff is really nice. They're all really nice in their own ways. They basically tell us, like, the simple rules. There's, like, the roommate contracts, the access with the key cards, what floors you can be on, what floors you can't, and curfews. They tell us basically the simple rules you need to know. Oh, yeah, by the way, we get these key cards for stuff like the suites, access. At, using it for like access for floors we can be on not floors we can't be on and basically you use it to like get into your room go on to like the deck on the 12th floor that's one thing we use it for we also use it for places like getting on the elevator we need to use it for that as well and just the entrance too we also need it so that was it's really simple they give just give you a key card and also i also gotta talk about the curfews so you need to be back by like the building by like seven sometimes they extend it to like eight sometimes not all the time and you need to be back into your actual room by like nine or at least into your suite by nine so i mentioned we had to do chores obviously because we're but we're also by ourselves so we have to take care of ourselves as well so we had to do laundry which whew, that was a fun time getting used to that all right so we had to use this app called wash connect for the laundry and it was really hard to adjust to it was really difficult to use at moments and like the first two weeks i mean that 
we only used it like three times in the whole thing. And the first two times was a pain getting used to. It was really annoying. And I was always fighting on the mom on the calls, trying to figure it out. But I got used to it. It's just really confusing. I'm just going to let you know. It might be a little frustrating at moments at first, but you probably will get used to it. Just letting you know. So, overall, the vibe in the dorms, it was great. In the RA room, the resid residential assistants, they let us play video games, which I didn't expect that to happen. We can go to the rooftop, just chill up there. Oh, yeah, we also get to see the fireworks on 4th of July from there. It was just a great experience overall. We got to go to each other's rooms. It was just great. In my next video, I'll talk about the classes, the instruction, and everything that happened in the school. And that's it for now. Bye.